Okay, exercise six first requires that you type um, the text as shown in exercise six A sample. Okay, so in this case, I'm just going to finish off typing. Once you finish typing the four lines of text, I'd like you to save it on your floppy disk or your USB drive. Go up to file, click save as. Now I'm going to be saving on my USB drive. So in the save in box, click the down arrow. And on my computer, it says removable disk F. On a school computer, yours should be called removable disk E. Or if you're saving it on your three and a half floppy, you will see three and a half floppy A somewhere. Okay. I'll click removable disk F. And down here, I will delete the file name the computer gives me. I will type in file 6a. And I'll save it on my USB drive. Okay, and once I've done that, you can see that the name has changed up here. Okay, let's get on with this exercise. After I've typed in the first part, I'm just going to press enter several times. And you'll notice each time I press enter, I'm creating a new line and the cursor is moving down. Okay, um, there are four techniques to copy and paste, and I will use one technique for each of the sentences I have up on the top. Okay, the first technique is requires that you click in front of the sentence, click the left button, hold down the left mouse button, drag across until the entire sentence is highlighted. Let go of the left mouse button after everything is highlighted. Go up to edit, find copy, click copy with the left button, move your cursor down and sit by clicking the left button. Go back up to edit, find paste, and click paste with the left button. See? Topic three was highlighted, copied, and pasted down at the bottom. Okay, that's the first technique. The second technique requires that you click and highlight the second topic. And you'll notice that there's a menu bar here okay, with, a lot, with a variety of different options. Now, in case some of these menu bar options aren't available, please be sure that you've clicked and dragged the menu bars so that everything is visible. You see what happens sometimes is the menu bar, one menu bar might be blocking another and you may not be able to see all the options until you've clicked, dragged, and moved one of the menu bars out of the way. Now, I've already highlighted topic two. Go up and find where it says there's a shortcut key called copy. It looks like two pieces of paper side by side. If you're not sure, once you put your cursor on top of the button, it should say copy. Click that button once with the left, but left mouse button. Click down here and place it with your cursor by clicking left, clicking left on the mouse. Go back up to the top where it's where there's a button, looks like a clipboard with a, with a piece of paper on it. It's the paste button. Click that and you'll see that I've pasted topic two from, um, I've copied from the top and placed it down here. The third technique for copying and pasting requires that, that you again highlight the text. Okay. And this one's a bit tricky because you have to place your cursor somewhere so that, so that it is touching the highlight text. So anywhere here is fine. Now, we haven't used the right mouse button before, but if you click the right mouse button once, you should see a box appear. In this box, you've got many different options. The function that we're looking for is copy. So click copy with your left mouse button. Click that once. Place the cursor below where you want the text to be pasted. Press the right mouse button and
A, change the file name from file 6B to file 6C, click Save, and we are done with this exercise.